hello friends welcome to my c++ tutorial and this is the eighth video of this series so in my last previous last video i have uh, discussed about some sine cos functions and today i will discuss about some more cmath functions so let me first start with something uh, related to the trigonometric functions like sine cos so then I will discuss about some more functions so first I have just uh, taken this template this includes only IO stream and CMath library so first let me define double x is equals to 1.3 let's say and uh, let me I if I want to uh, calculate sine inverse so that is the arc sine so then I have to print so this a sign a sign means arc sign okay so this will uh, yeah oh okay so this will print the arc sign of this x value uh, okay because uh, arc sign cannot have uh, the value argument value from minus uh, outside this minus x minus 1 to plus 1 so that is why it is giving nan because arcs arc sign cannot have uh, something whose uh, absolute value is more than 1 so let me just choose uh, 0 0.3 then it will give some value and you can see that this is 0 0.3 for 0 0.4693 and that is how you can just uh, calculate arc tan arc cos etc so this a means arc okay so these are the uh, sine inverse cos inverse and tan inverse functions and you also can just calculate the sine hyperbolic sine hyperbolic so hyperbolic is sine h so this will give you the sine hyperbolic value and you can just copy and paste here and change this sine to cos and tan so this will print the sine hyperbolic cos hyperbolic and tan hyperbolic so you can see so this uh, arc cos is this this arc sign is this 0 0.3.4693 and then after that this is arc tan this is arc tan then this is arc cos this 1.2661 this is arc cos and after that this three are this sine hyperbolic cos hyperbolic and tan hyperbolic okay so these are the basic functions you can just uh, use from the these libraries and there are more something more so uh, you can just uh, if you want to find out the maximum of two integers let me just write 9 and uh, uh, 13 maybe so which is the maximum so 13 so between 9 and 13 13 is the maximum number so it will print the maximum value it should print 13 and this is printing 13 similarly the <coughs> sorry so this mean function will give you the minimum so then the next line it should print 9 okay so and it is printing 9 so mm, this is how you can just use this uh, max function mean function you can just calculate absolute value so for absolute value you can just calculate like apps minus 1.23 handle okay so then it should print 1.23 and that is actually printing this 1.23 so this minus is not uh, coming because this is the absolute value okay uh, you can just uh, use this seal function seal function will do what it will uh, give you the nearest but rounded up to the nearest integer so if i can just pay 5 point seal 5.4 then it will give you 6 
okay so because six is the rounded up not down okay so rounded up so it is giving six similarly if you want to the rounded down integer so then it will give you for that you have to use floor function so this is the floor function so this should give five okay so this is very easy okay mm, and uh, next uh, just uh, you can use uh, square root function like suppose uh, square for square root you can just write sqrt let me just uh, write it down like four okay so then it should give you uh, two so yeah so this is two but just let me just make it square root of five then it will two point it will be two point something two point two three six zero seven okay um after that you, you can just also ca compute the cubic root also so directly using this function cbrt okay cbrt will give you the cubic root so yeah so this is the cubic root that is 1.70998 and you can just check it out like this then in the last video i have shown you about the power function so if you just uh, raise the power of this number to 3 then it will it should give you the 5 so let me check so that you can see yeah this is almost 5.00 because uh, you know, whatever it, it is been printing this is not uh, the exact okay so it is giving up to the some specified decimal places so this is up to five decimal places but there may be some more numbers and uh, it is not printing so that is why but uh, and uh, if you want to just okay so in this case let me just want to print up to some precision okay some fixed precision like uh, maybe i want to print it up to two decimal places so then I can just write fixed then set precision two, but set precision is not here so that is why it is giving some error okay for that you have to just include another library it is called okay so Um, just check it out. Is this working or not? Uh, no. Uh, maybe uh, it's not. It may not be the correct. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Uh, that the library name may be different. Uh, okay. Let me. Uh, think about this uh, uh, just wait uh, oh, 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 oh sorry so <laughs> this should not be iomanic so this should be iomanip okay so then it will not give you the uh, wrong result so let me just run it and you can uh, see that uh, this is printing up to two decimal places so the precision is set here so that is how you can just uh, set the precision okay and uh, so but uh, one more thing that uh, you have seen that max mean functions but just write try to write out this like th this kind of thing so then it is giving something a uh, some error okay so this max and mean function cannot have the float number or double precision number in the arguments so for that you ha if you have some float number and you have to compare that uh, and compare and uh, find out the maximum or minimum value then you have to uh, use something else so for that you have to use if min if min 9.4 9.4 comma maybe 5.6 
so then it will give you the 5.6 here for because 5.6 is lesser than the yeah so as i have just uh, said this precision that is why it is giving 5.60 but yeah so and uh, similarly if you want to just compare and find the maximum then you have to write f max okay so f max and it should give the value 9.40 so this is 9.40 yeah another function is uh, sometimes useful for some physics and mathematical uh, mathematical usage so xmp1 x and l exp m1 okay so i'm uh, i'm coming to the uh, coming to the point that uh, what is this so you can just uh, give a tab here and then just print this exponential of x minus 1 so now just uh, check it out that what is happening and you can see I uh, just let me just uh, change this uh, fixed set precision because it is uh, not giving the same result here uh, not with more precision so it is truncating after two decimal places now just check it out that you can see that this is 0 0.349859 and this is the same so this exp m1 is defined as this exponential of x minus 1 and uh, for today this is uh, all so you can just uh, revise these things and can practice and in my next video we will do something more complex and subscribe my channel and share it thank you for today bye bye